Oh my god, this is my first uh, live, so I'm not sure how to work it out, but Yola will work it out. Um, and it's the first time I've been on for a while. It's probably been a good nearly eight weeks or maybe eight weeks, two months since I've kind of jumped back in. And I just want, I thought I'll just take this opportunity to jump in and share what I've been going through, um, my realization, and just get back into the into the game, into life, into the thing. So um, I've really wanted to talk about um, mindset and the belief around mindset that I have um, and the realization through the last eight months that I've had of why my really strong positive mindset was causing me so much damage and was really holding me back um, from just going deep healing and able to evolve, continue to evolve to that next step and why that strong mindset kept bringing back, um, the same lessons and, and, um, over and over, like we go through, you know, life gives us patterns of things. And if we're not learning the lessons, we keep giving it, we keep getting the same issues or situations repeating itself just manifested in different ways so i'll go through a few of those so you know my old belief was to have a really really strong mindset and i worked many years of having this strong mindset being positive going into personal development you know um you know, what is my reason why when I get stuck in terms of business, you know, what is my reason why, why do I need to keep going? Why do I need to keep pushing when I'm feeling down, when I'm feeling out, when I'm feeling defeated, when shit in life happens, you know, just keep on going. I had that hustle mentality, like to make, like in terms of business, you know, to make it big, to make it successful, you've got to hustle, 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 suck it up, suck it up. You know, success is for winners, not losers, all that bullshit fucking stories in your head oh yeah warning when i get passionate people call it fiery i call it passionate sometimes the f word comes out and that just shows you know my passion or my fire or whatever you want to call it but yeah just warning um if you're getting triggered by the f word i um, then maybe this video is not for you but it's going to drop out and i'm trying to be conscious but that's just me and it's going to come out so yeah the hustle and you know, another one was I used to tell myself, I've just got to be strong for my kids. Like no matter what I go through, no matter what life throws at me, like I've just got to kind of suck it up and keep pushing through, keep pushing through, feed my mind with the good stuff. And I'm not saying that having a strong mindset is bad. It is so good um, and it is such, I think, such a powerful tool that you need to have to get yourself there but not having a powerful mindset alone. And later on, I'll explain why it's causing more damage than good. You know, so all through my life, I've, I've you know, I've had this happen, whether it would, was my sexual abuse for many years, that, you know, uh, that trauma, not to face it and to keep living in the world, because there was a time that I didn't want to live and gone through that dark place. And to be able to live and survive, you know, I turned to drugs, I turned to alcohols, I turned to partying just to get through, you know, I was distracting myself from the pain. Um, and there's so many different instances in life and you probably can think about it in your own life. Like when you're going through trauma, when you're going through pain, when life knocks you down, what are the things that you're turning to, to keep pushing yourself forward, to keep telling the story of your head that you're okay when really you're not and you just keep on going and you keep on going and then time goes past and you're like oh i think i got over that you know i had so many people tell me mel how do you do it you're so strong like look at all the adversities you've overcame and look where you are today how do you how did you do it and it was it was all through a strong mindset until 12 months ago when um i have gone through uh, grief in the last 12 months um, manifested in different ways. I had a loss of a very dear loved one to me 12 months ago. Um, at the start of the year, I had lost um, my my business that I had created due to COVID. Um, and just recently, eight weeks after that, or six weeks after that, I had gone through another um, personal loss. And yes, the grief had manifested in different ways, and in my mind, you know, in all the first two instances through grief, 
I just kind of allowed myself to feel it. I gave myself a few weeks. I felt the emotions. I understood the emotions. Um, I got the lessons and I'm like, that's right. Let's suck it up, Mel. And let's just keep on going. Let's keep on going. Let's keep building business. Let's keep putting a happy face. Let's, you know, fill my diaries with things like, let's just keep on going until the last loss that I had gone through <clears throat> probably about two months ago, even the two month period. That's when I really, it just all hit me. I think the last 12 months of the loss, the grief, the shame, the embarrassment, um, the will to not want to keep going, not wanting to survive, just all really hit me. And usually I would suck it up and I'll keep going. And I tried. I tried to get myself into that mindset that I've had for years of just keep going and talking myself in that positive state and keep on going. But my body had had enough. It forced me to, I'm just going to stop this dinging and put my phone on silent because I've got a million messages coming through at the same time. Um, but my body was like, you've had enough because you see your mental body, there's different parts of your body. You've got your mental body and you've got emotional body. Okay. And People like myself and like you, you suck it up and you get that strong mindset that keeps you going. That's your mental body. You've learned the lessons. You've had that awareness. You've had that understanding. And then you're like, I'm fine. I understand. I've learned the lessons. I'm going to keep going with this new perspe perspective, this new outlook in life. And you keep on going and it can get you to a certain point. And that was me, right, for the last 12 months until this last loss. And then you've got your emotional body where my emotional body had had enough. It was fucking hammered over the last 12 months. It's going to make me cry. Whew. But it got, it got hammered over the last 12 months and it just stopped. It just broke down. I was going through all this medical stuff. I was going through depression where I couldn't get out of bed. I didn't want to do things. I just didn't want to, you know, I wasn't myself. And that was just a big screaming and a big realization that said, fuck, Mel, you need to stop. Because I heard this, I heard this um, amazing perspective on depression where it is just your body's way or your soul's way of saying to have deep rest. Right, I'm going to say that again. Depression equals your soul's way of telling you to have deep rest, right? And that is because your mind has this awareness of things that are going on, but it takes your emotional, energetic body to be able to process the emotions, to be able to heal the emotions, to then be able to go, okay, I'm ready. I've calibrated to that next level of being, that next level of awakeness and caught up with your mind to then keep going in life. And if you've got your mind done, your mindset's there, you've got the awareness, you've got the lessons, but you're not allowing your time for your body to get there and calibrate to that spot because you haven't allowed to process the emotions, you haven't allowed to heal. What, what could also manifest is you know, a lot of armor. So in Ayurveda, armor is the word for toxins. So you, not only do you have toxins that you put in your body and environmental, but there's emotional toxins that your body holds on to. Okay. So your body, if you're not allowing your body to rest, your body is producing and storing a lot of that, um, that a lot of that armor and how that can manifest uh, there's so many different ways that you can tell that your body's holding on to emotional armor, but I'm just going to go through some. So you might be feeling fatigued. You might start having swelling, um, holding of water retention in your body. You might start seeing weight gain. Um, you might, your breath might stink. So make sure you don't talk to people too close. No, no but you might start noticing your breath smelly. Um, you have lack of energy. You have mental flog. You don't have motivation. You're in this depressed state. 
And what that means is your body's holding on to that armor. You haven't had that time for your body to heal. You haven't had time to heal and feel the emotions on such a deep, deep level. So naturally your body's just going to hold on to those emotions. Even though your mindset's like, I'm good. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, let's rock and roll. Your body's saying, I'm not good. I'm not healed. I haven't calibrated to that next level yet. Right? So what we have to do is just really like for me in this last time, my body just gave up. I couldn't do anything. I wasn't feeling well. I was bloated. I was constipated. I was gaining weight. I had mental flog. I don't know if my breath was smelly because no one told me or backed away. It probably was. Um, but I allowed myself to heal. And now that I've allowed myself to heal, I took time out. Like if anyone knows me, I can't sit down and do nothing. Like I was allowing myself to lay on the lounge and Netflix and chill. Like I don't lay on the lounge and Netflix and chill. Like I'm a, I'm a go, go, go. I'm a hustle, 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 go, 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 go. Um, but you know, when my, when I went through those body restrictions, that depression, when, when I was going through that deep rest, um, I just switched off. I switched off my notifications. So I'm sorry for all those messages that have come through and I haven't gotten back to you. I will start getting back through them, but I turned off my no notifications. Anything business, I would not allow my mind to go there. Anything that wasn't out of my home, out of my family, out of my close loved ones, I wouldn't allow my mental state to go there because I needed to allow my body to catch up. I needed that deep rest for my body so once you have that body and that deep breath so i had that deep rest and now i'm going through an ayurveda cleanse so the ayurveda cleanse is a mind body cleanse that is going to help or it is helping me re release a lot of that armor release a lot of that toxin that emotional toxin and I've only been doing it for less than a week now, and I can already see a lot of the um, water retention's going down, the bloatiness is going down, my constipation has helped, the mental fog is lifting. Hopefully, I don't have a stinky breath. I might uh, try it on my my kids this afternoon when I pick them up from school. Um, but then you start getting into a homeostasis state. I can, I'm shit at pronouncing words. Is that how you say it? Homeostasis, whatever. You're getting into more a balanced state. And then the realizations, the, the, the lessons that you learn, the new way of percep per perception, viewing of life and all the kind of things your mind's there, your body has now caught up. You have now calibrated to that next evolutionary, evolu oh, shit up talking today, evolutionary state of yourself. Now you've evolved just that little bit more. Um, so that's where I've been over the last uh, eight weeks, two months. I really just took that time for myself to deep rest. I really put into practice all the things um, that I teach. I don't just go, I'm not one of those coaches that just go out there and say, you're amazing, do this, do that. Like I really take that in because it's a way of living for me. It's, it's the way of being. Um, and there was one more thing that just popped in that was really important that I wanted to share. Even though I was going through that deep rest, that depressed state, that deep rest, that time out, there were moments in my day and they weren't long moments, but they were short moments in my day that I stopped and I felt so, oh, they're crying. I felt so much gratitude in a very dark time. Um, I tapped into that abundance. I tapped into that light. I tapped into that source. I tapped into me at my, at my core being. Um, so I just want to let you know that even though you may be in a dark state, in a deep rest state, you can still be so connected to your source, to your God, to yourself, to that being, to that light inside of you. And you can still feel so much abundance. And through that that deep rest, rest state that I was going through, I, that manifested and showed that, you know, I won a beautiful cacao and crystal package in a, in a breathwork session that I went to. I went to the pharmacy to get some skincare stuff and the lady just handed me a beautiful candle to say, here you go. So, you know, the universe still, you can still be so abundant and magnetize and, and um, manifest beauty and love into your life, even though you're not feeling it. 
because even though we are still we're human we're going through human experience right and we're feeling the emotions so you can go i'm giving you permission right now that you can have your deep rest take that deep rest and still be so abundant so abundant and have so much love pouring in from you from from everywhere from your god from your angels from your guides from your loved ones from nature from strangers because you are so worthy and you are so deserving and you're not alone you know no matter how awakened we are and on our journey here on this you know this incarnation life that we have here we are still going through things we will always face challenges and when you face challenges just see it as you know life as yourself because you're a co-creator as yourself allowing yourself to go through the density in order for you to evolve to that next level of being um but that is what i'm going to leave you with because anyone that knows me i ramble and i talk and i could be here all day just having a chat with you <laughs> i'm not um i'm just gonna go through the comments now because again this is my first time on live so i'm just uh trying to work it all out but let me just go through uh lash by jewel uh thank you for the message thank you so much darling for jumping on fierce future sarah i sarah i absolutely love you you're a queen um oh my beautiful lovely crazy rainbow bestie deanne thank you so much beautiful i love you um and thank you so much everyone for the message i hope um that you guys had um, got something out of my rambling and my sharing with you of where I've been over the next two months. But I'm coming back into the world. I'm coming out of my deep rest. So I'm really looking forward to, you know, um, holding hands with people through the coaching and walking along this journey with you. But until then, have an amazing Friday. Um, and I love you guys so much. Mwah. Bye.